Hi Capricorn! Welcome to your general reading Capricorn. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. What do we have for you Capricorn? Oh, okay. <laughs> Capricorn, this is a collective general reading for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation, okay? So, um, okay. So we have a snake, we have the cross, we have the coffin, nothing to worry about, mm -mm. nothing to worry about. We have a mice, what else we have for Capricorn please? Capricorn, Capricorn, please, what else we have for Capricorn? Way too many. For Capricorn, we have a change. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's what I was getting. At the bottom of the deck, we have a bouquet. Good, beautiful. So Capricorn, I see that um, something here might have been quite challenging, difficult, burdening, um, exhausting, draining, really. But this very very challenging and difficult situation it's 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 going to it's coming to an end okay there will be a change which will bring so much happiness and new opportunities with the snake it might indicate that the source of the of this kind of obstacles and that that you might be feeling drained or anxious or stressed about something might be someone here uh, that might be two-faced with the snake okay someone who seemed to be your friend with the three of cups but at the end of the day it feels like this person betrayed your trust and you had to took a step back in order to detach from this energy i see someone uh particularly it might be a friend or it might be a um is someone very close to your heart who is quite toxic who can be quite toxic who can be quite draining who likes to be in the center of attention you might be dealing here with someone who might have a narcissistic tendency very draining energy someone very self-focused who feels that their problems should be a priority their problems should be taken care of that what they are saying is the most important that should be, it should be taken into account and the attitude here is very, very draining. I'm getting draining. They feel like a, it might feel that, you know, within time, this person was just, it, it, all their problems here. And I felt like you were carrying a ba backpack full of, you know, uh, stones. And it was just step by step within time. It was, it, it, it was getting way too difficult. I feel you would draw your energy. And because you saw this person's true colors. This is someone who wasn't fully transparent with you. This is someone who lied. And you might feel that, you know, it's just they caused um, They brought enormous amount of difficulty here. And it shouldn't be that difficult because if it's a friendship, then it should be like an equal give take with regards to exchange of energy right but i feel that this person was just completely overtaking your time your attention like attention seek, seek, seeking person and then for instance when when if you had a problem this person was dismissive or this person said that they don't have much time now that they will call you back of course they will but it, it feels like you know they've never really kind of made an effort to kind of be there for you or 
it might be also a case that this is someone who likes to s steal your spotlight, right? Or who've done that many, many times. When you had a problem, this person was listening for a bit, but immediately they said, oh, you know, that happened to me as well. And then the, here we go again with the same kind of explanation, very draining energy. It can be a friend with the three of cars, but we have this mice and the mice energy, it's energy of loss, of, of loss in the sense of, again, some, some, you know, it's like a taker. This person was only taker. It was an equal give take. If it if it's something to do with if it's if we're talking about friends, right? If it's a particular situation, uh, a particular person that you might consider as your friend, someone who cannot be trusted, very self-absorbed with the big ego, very self-centered individual, who at the end exhausted you, drain you. Might be thinking that this person was just like a, they are draining me with from my energy and you took a step back and at the end you might feel well there is nothing else to give from me because it's just i'm completely emotionally drained and you might came into conclusion or decision that you need to detach yourself from this energy if it's not a friend then i see someone here someone maybe of you know romantic uh, uh, something to do with uh, someone who might be very close to your heart or romantic interest and again someone who might have narcissistic tendencies and who was uh, very very jealous also who loved being at the center of attention and I see like whatever good or happy uh, while I'm getting someone who like a spoil fun you know what I mean? It's because three of cups is this energy of celebration. And look, we have this mice here, this, 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 uh, how is the plural? Oh my gosh. I'm very sorry guys, but you know, we, we see so many mices or mice. This is, this is a conundrum for me. Okay, I need to check this when it comes to grammar, but we see this energy represented by those you know but but by those animals i can say it that way okay please forgive me for my broken english but they are you know of a black color so this is like a, this is all about the symbolism you know i actually very i actually like uh, my you know i need to check the plural um i feel they are very cute you know i think i had it one as a child actually really like it can't remember <laughs> nevertheless what i wanted to say is that um um we can see the scenario here right we have clouds then we have the rain then we have this beautiful table with the tablecloth uh, we have this three of cups that represents celebration, joy, but suddenly it's like been overtaken by this energy represented by the mice. So I see here, what I wanted to say, I see someone here who it's like a, when you had fun, they kind of, every time when there was an opportunity for them, it's like they spoiled the fun or uh, they created some sort of drama in the middle of it if like you couldn't fully or you 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 weren't fully able to enjoy yourself you know and I feel that at the end you might have withdraw uh, this energy your energy from this because it's been too much it's been too much it's been like ongoing <sighs> draining kind of a dynamics when it comes to this particular connection but we have a beautiful change we have energy of stalk which brings change look we have beautiful rainbow here so it's like a hope and also beautiful scenario next to it we have a sun which which speaks of happiness joy fulfillment personal satisfaction so you can expect here that the situation 
uh, will come to an end and if, if it's something that you might be at the moment uh, facing that sort of dynamics here with someone or with regards to a particular situation things will change because this is a major card of change that will bring so much happiness and just joy bouquet it's it's a beautiful sign because that represents opportunities and very beautiful opportunity opportunities look at those those beautiful uh, flowers it's like the opportunity here it, it it's going to uh, manifest itself very very soon that will bring so much happiness again happiness joy fulfillment so you can expect uh, change and I feel for some of you that you will detach very very soon from this draining and very difficult energy okay Capricorn I guess what I wanted to say is that I love all anim animals and um, I am a big animal lover. I have three dogs <laughs> and if I could I would have another two <laughs> but um, I, am, I am unable <laughs> because I don't have much space but I, um, it's just a symbol that in Lenormand uh, uh, represents some sort of kind of loss you know laws or just um, someone being particularly kind of difficult okay let's see Capricorn let's see Capricorn let's see what we have for you what tarot will show us so we have a three of pentacles oh gosh okay okay <laughs> queen of pentacles six of pentacles we have a queen, sorry, the high precious. Okay. So what is the side message here? Oh, you have someone who is very interested in you. Capricorn, you may be dealing with Pisces. I have very strong earth actually as well. So your energy Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I see you um, having an opportunity to to shine when it comes to your work related situation with the three of pentacles you're manifesting here stability better financial situation opposition i'm getting very strongly also that if you've been unsure if your position is stable or if it's if it's uh secure when it comes to your work or your job you can be reassured here that yes it's stable and i see you receiving also extra money so 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 the form of a bon bonus or like a christmas bonus something like this and um it can be a case for some of you capricorn that you know you might be talking with your colleagues and it's like an ongoing tradition in your company and you might be wondering well i don't know how much we we can get this 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 year but I feel you're being quite satisfied, you know? And overall, I'm seeing a success, stability when it comes to your work-related situation and also finances. Side message here, Capricorn, is that someone is spying on you and this person here wants to kind of express some sort of uh, interest. They want to let you know that they are very interested in you, but actually they are in love with you with the Queen of Cups. Capricorn mm -hmm. but this person is spying at the moment at you they are spying on you sorry they are spying on you they are checking your social media if you're active on social media or if you have a profile on one of the social platforms this is someone who is actively checking they are checking if you're online they are trying to figure out what's going on in your life and if they truly have a chance to come forward and for instance ask you for a date <laughs> or ask you out okay so let's see Capricorn let's see why the three of Pentacles why the Queen of Pentacles why the six of Pentacles and why the high precious for Capricorn please some sort of form of uh, clarity it's coming okay yeah
why the three of pentacles queen of pentacles thank you six of pentacles high priestess seven of cups You will have many options here with regards to something to do with your work-related situation. Maybe you will be in a position of advantage to choose a certain project. Therefore, you might be way ahead, you know, because of your position and because of you uh, being a master in your craft, because that's what Three of Pentacles also represents. So I'm seeing you having so many opportunities, choices. Why the Three of Pentacles, why the Queen of Pentacles, why the Six of Pentacles, and why the High Precious? For Capricorn, please. Um, we have a King of Cups, and we have Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. You have an ally at your workplace, you know, someone here who kind of appreciate your effort your 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 knowledge your skill your mastery you being very good at what you're doing here and also your knowledge this is someone who appreciate and who see that you are very talented this king of cups this is someone who has good intentions and with the two of wands i'm also seeing capricorn that um this opportunity here that will uh manifest itself and also you know those options here um it it kind of give me a it's showing me that um you will indeed have to make a choice and i feel you being very much kind of uh more keen on something that uh, will uh, bring some sort of creativity here that you will have more creative uh, freedom. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, if you are, for instance, an artist, I see you being very creative here and discussing so many kind of uh, um, ideas, let's say it that way, because Seven of Cups also can represent, you know, uh, uh, ideas, not only options and opportunities, but ideas and I see you being very creative here and someone this king of cups this person it can be indeed a water sign from your workplace it doesn't have to be but this represent um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio therefore you might be dealing with someone who has those placements this this king of cups male female please take it how it resonates uh, they will be uh, quite in favor of your uh, idea or your ideas here and I see you having more kind of creative freedom when it comes to your work related uh, situation so something very nice here it's coming your way especially when it comes to work okay what else we have for Capricorn please So we have a Ten of Swords, the Empress. What is the side message? Look at the side message here, Capricorn. Um, so there was a, some sort of form of an ending here with the Ten of Swords. And I feel that you're releasing this energy. Okay. Someone here betrayed your trust. It was too draining. You're releasing it. And you are focusing on yourself. We have this beautiful Empress energy divine feminine divine feminine male female please take it how it resonates it's just an energy and this is what it's 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 quite interesting because it feels like that as soon as you detached from something or you are about to release it you will immediately uh, manifest abundance and prosperity therefore i'm getting here a very karmic energy you might notice if it's something that you've already done and and for instance you've already released it you you ended the situation you might notice that actually immediately or within a short period of time certain dynamics here changed so for instance 
while being in a relationship or in connection or in touch with this individual here that we were talking about uh, your family dynamic probably uh, not probably but it might be a case that um, uh, you've noticed that there was some sort of loss with regards to uh, stability meaning money or certain things didn't go your way or your friendships might have you know uh, m met up with some sort of obstacles and difficulties or your you know a relationship with regards to your relatives or family like things were not going well things were not things were yes things were not going very well and suddenly when you release this energy you are in this empress state which means you are attracting abundance prosperity love growth expansion why and if that's the case and if you kind of notice that and when you sit down and think about it and actually you might feel yeah mary actually yeah i can i can relate to that it means that you are dealing here with someone who is karmic and they were just draining draining you from this abundance from this prosperity energetically okay and that can be a sign because i see you being in a completely different kind of a energy and the same it's here right massive change after detaching from this toxic energy suddenly the change is into the sun and the bouquet happiness fulfillment prosperity love affection whatever the case may be and whatever makes you happy it's like a, you are because of you detached from it now you are free to attract all the abundance and goods that are available for you and look what we have as a side message six of cups two of cups the moon the star and ten of cups this is a relationship you are attracting relationship also for some of you this is someone i feel that you might know this person and why i'm getting very strongly for someone that this person here this karmic individual caused like a discord between the two of you even maybe parting this person here represented by the six of cups while you were involved with this person they withdraw the energy they didn't want it so you were kind of stuck here in this certain dynamic and now when you are releasing this person this person here who is showing up in a gorgeous energy it's coming back to your life so it looks like someone here from it might be someone from your past with the six of cups or someone that you know and but the, it feels like this person uh, while you were in while you were in touch with this energy this karmic energy they were not fully present here in your life and as soon as you kind of detached you release this energy this person is coming back it's coming back to because they always loved you this is a relationship this is love this is a very very strong soul connection someone sees you as a divine counterpart here capricorn you might be dealing with aquarius i also have pisces energy but this is like a balance you know moon next to the star shows a perfectly balanced relationship that it's in the horizon and it soon will come back to your life and at the end it will be a happily ever after that's what they're showing me and it is because you chose your own happiness and to detach here from something or someone toxic or karmic you can expect here uh, be or have an opportunity to create a very balanced very grounded very loving and very kind of a understanding relationship with someone that you've already know this person will communicate this person will will send you a message and with the moon uh, and and with the star this is it can be um, uh, through internet 
oh, we had the side message, didn't we? About someone who is observing you <clears throat> with, the, with, the, with the page of swords and the knight of cups and the queen of cups who has love for you. Either way, okay, either way, you can expect opportunity and that's what the bouquet is showing, opportunity in love. And that's what you're manifesting here, Capricorn. Relationship, beautiful relationship based on love and mutual understanding. So what else we have for Capricorn here, please? We have a hermit, you being very wise. You might be dealing with Virgo. Yeah, being very wise. It's like I've learned my lesson. Yeah, someone here really disappointed you. <sighs> really, really disappointed you. They broke your heart here, I'm getting. And it's like I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to repeat this again. You are shielding your heart. You are protecting your heart. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing no more. I'm done with this. I'm not going to put myself in that position again. And yes, you are pushing away this kind of, uh, any kind of sign of that sort of, you know, that someone might take advantage over you or someone might be karmic essentially here with these cards. It's like you are, for some of you, you blocked someone here big time with the two of swords and seven of ones. Like, I, I don't want to have anything to do with this person. I'm done. And you're done here. I, I'm seeing. You are focusing on yourself. What makes you happy, self-love, self-care. Beautiful. And I'm getting this, this kind of, it's showing very strongly, it's coming forward. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to be put one, never ever again. I'm wiser, I, I, I have experience, I've been there, I've seen it, I'm going to use it, and I reject this three of swords. No more, no, done. Yes, and you are blocking, yes. You are very selective with your energy here. Capricorn, very. For some of you, you blocked someone, and I feel it's not the only one person, it can be even two individuals, three. Mm -hmm. it's like a reevaluation of 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 your life i'm getting very strongly for some of you why the ten of swords why the empress why the hermit and why the three of swords with the two of swords and seven of wands please for capricorn We have five of pentacles. And four of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have a 10 of cups. You're manifesting a happy relationship here, Capricorn. And I feel that you've been through here a lot. Someone here made you feel that you are not good enough. Someone left you completely out in a cold with no support, not on, no understanding. And you dealt here with someone who's been incredibly stubborn. They didn't want it to see your point of view. They, 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 they were just focusing on themselves. And also someone who has abandonment issued, very clingy kind of individual, very. It's like, uh, my things are the most important here. You need to be available for me. That kind of energy. That's why you are blocking it. No, no more. And you are manifesting a beautiful relationship. So could you please give me the outcome? Happiness for the near future. For the immediate future, excuse me, it's my belly. <laughs> For Capricorn. Peace.
you know with this energy it doesn't have to be a friend it can be you know anyone essentially it can be a family member it can be a relative and of course it can be a you know karmic partner or someone that you, you are involved when it comes to you know your your love related situation we have justice so please take how it resonates for you but quite karmic energy king of wands and we have wheel of fortune so this change mm -hmm. it's like a karma you going to receive a good karma here capricorn you might be dealing with leo uh scorpio aquarius taurus i also have libra you're receiving a good karma in the form of fulfillment why the justice why the king of wands and why the will of fortune So we have nine of swords, the strength, the judgment and the star. So I have very strong Aquarius, Scorpio, also Leo energy. Yes. It's like you're done here with, with this energy of being worried that something or someone here is giving you headaches, sleepless nights. No. You, 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 the, I'm getting very strongly here, Capricorn, the reason why you are receiving here good karma, because the spirit acknowledged um, the fact that you've been here for a lot and also the way you handled the situation. And with the strength, it, it's, it's strength is this energy of being very diplomatic and being very emotionally strong. And I feel that you kind of um, handled the situation with class judgment again we have very strong karmic combination of cards but next to it we have the star so this is a good good karma capricorn you are receiving a good karma uh, in a form of beautiful relationship abundance prosperity your work related kind of situation here uh, will will kind of show will will give you opportunity to shine you know this is very beautiful. It's a complete change of circumstances, especially with this energy. You can expect being very, very happy because you made the right decision here. Eight of Pentacles. Yes. A huge satisfaction also when it comes to your work related matters. You can expect being uh, received. Uh, I'm getting a public recognition and, and reward for your hard work dedication and attention to detail that's quite quite important to emphasize but this is very beautiful very very positive reading here capricorn and i feel that indeed you know you've been through here a lot and you dealt with someone very very um very who created so many obstacles and difficulties but I'm getting very strongly that now you are just uh, you're attracting only a very very beautiful positive karma in a form of blessings and also let's let's not forget that the star is this beautiful energy of protection you are protected here and divinely guided so you can expect uh, opportunity uh, to for a union with someone who you know who you met already or someone who you know and this person will 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 come will come back will will send you a message or they will just uh yes they will ask you out i'm getting very strongly and also a big success when it comes to your finances and work-related situation 
beautiful reading. Capricorn, I'll leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Capricorn, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.